So for this project, what I want you to do is uh, take a picture, put it into Desmos, and put as many parabolas that match the picture as you can into it. So um, before, before I get too far into this, let me show you a couple pieces. If I wanted to graph a parabola, you know, just something like x squared uh, plus 3x, something like that. Um, that just graphs the parabola. That gives me the whole parabola. If I just want part of the parabola, I can use like these uh, curly Q brackets and I can limit my X values. So I'm just going to have X go from negative two to, to one. So I'm going to say negative two is less than X. Oops, is less than X. And so no notice what that does is that truncates my, um, my parabola where X is negative two. And if I let it run to, to one is less than one, it goes from there to there. And then I get part of a parabola on there. And you know that you can make this parabola fatter by, uh, you know, multiplying by like 0.5, something like that. Let me take that off. Uh, out here, you know, 0.3 makes it even wider. Of course, it moves it around. You're going to have to move it then. And I could move this up by you know, adding 4 to it, that sort of thing. So you can mess with these parameters in here to kind of reshape your parabola to try and get it to the spot that you want. Or you could write it, you know, if you knew where the intercepts were, you could write it as like x minus 2 times x plus 1 um, and multiply, do your multipliers out there to make it skinny or fatter or that sort of thing. So what I want you to do is uh, know how to do those parabolas, um, but really I want you to uh, put a picture in so it can be a picture of yourself. It could be something, uh, it could be something, anything you have. So if you just have any, any picture, you can literally just grab it and drop it in. And notice that uh, the picture just drops in. And you have a couple things here. You can, you can move it center. You can just drag it and put it where you want it if you don't like where it's at, that sort of thing. So I might want to put it there. Um, you can make it you can resize it, you know, make it a little bigger, that sort of thing. Um, if it were an upside down or moved, you can you can change it by this angle. But this is not in degrees; this is in radians. So if I wanted to rotate at 180 degrees, I'd actually have to use pi, right? If I wanted to rotate rotate at 90 degrees, I'd say pi over two, um, that sort of thing. But I want to rotate at zero degrees; it's perfect. But notice what I see in here is like I see this nice parabola right here, and I'm just going to try and find as many parabolas. In this picture as I can and kind of fit them to them. So maybe if I had like a negative x squared plus uh, 1.5. Boy, that's pretty close. I might move it up a little bit more. I said 1.5, but I wrote, I wrote 1.3. 1.4. It's a little fat. I want to make it a little skinnier. So I'm going to make this maybe a, a 0.9. No, that'll make it skin fatter. Uh, maybe a 1.1. 1 .1. 1.2. That's not too bad. I like 1.1 better. That seems to fit better. And then if I wanted to run it from, um, see it's going from like here to here. I want it to cut off about here. So I'll, I think I'll just run it from negative 1 to 1. Uh, negative 1 is less than x, which is less than 1. Uh, that sort of thing. And you can keep putting them in. And notice you can hide the picture. So once you get enough of them on here, if you wanted to hide the picture, kind of see what's what's traced out on it, that sort of thing. And if you want to change the color, go into settings, click on that, and you can you know make it a color that's easier to see. I started a little bit with a different picture. I just put in these two parabolas right here on that. Uh, but I want you to be a picture of yourself, picture of anything that you want. Put as many parabolas as it, it on it as you can. This is really practicing about what these parameters do for a for a parabola all right hey have fun with this